Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial video on my YouTube channel. I am Mr. Olo and this is Mr. Olo Designs. So in this tutorial video, I will briefly be teaching you how to create a flyer design for a photo studio. Yeah, you read me right, for a photo studio. So without further ado, we are going to jump right in. And in case you want to follow along in this tutorial, please the link to download the materials we are, we, we are going to be using in this tutorial video will be made available to you in the description below. So let's jump right in. So first of all, most, we've seen that we have four images of a lady or four portrait images of a lady and we have uh, four images of a lady and we have a background. Uh, you know this uh, kind of liquid stuff background right here then we have a png file of a guy's hand holding a camera and then we have the logo of the brand and which is called influx photography so now we are briefly going to create our box as usual that we'll be using for our power clipping so we are briefly going to create our box but before we do that one other thing we need to note is that we are going to be using a particular font they call the mtn brighter sans font so it's the font that is um, that was officially created specifically for the MTN uh, telecommunication company. Uh, you know, it was the font that was used for the rebrand. So we are going to be using the font today. So briefly, let's bring out our text and write a, a catchy hierarchy or hierarchy headline. So we're going to write something like, take that shot with us today. Yep. So now we are going to select out the fonts. So we are going to go to our font uh, library here. So I already have it here, Sans Serif. So I'm going to take the MTM Brighter Sun Sans Extra Bold. Yes, the font is also inclusive in the in the link to the uh, materials that will be leave, that will be left in the, in the description box below. So now we've taken, we've brought out this, take that shot with us today. So that's it. That is quite a catchy headline. Okay. Or should I say, yeah. So now we are briefly going to take this down and make a duplicate. So you make a duplicate. Now as you're dragging while holding your shift key, you right click and we made a duplicate. Now for this duplicate, we are going to reduce it because this is now where we'll be writing the services that we'll be offering. So we are briefly going to write services services that we're going to put this and come over or oh, let's use this one that will come over and write drone shot yes they offer drone shoots that is they take uh pictures with a drone then baby shoots they also offer uh, this is my birthday for properly sorry so they also offer uh party shoots wedding wedding then the offer funeral too at least to keep the memories of their beloved who has gone to the afterlife with them then shoots and then etc meaning you can of call them for maybe other kind of things you want to do but for this particular one we are going to be using okay we are going to be reducing now that is one thing about design is not everywhere you need to use a particular font weight okay not everywhere you have to use a particular font weight for, so for this particular one for these services that they are rendering we are going to be reducing the font weight so we won't be using the extra board but rather we will be using the medium okay we'll be using the medium while we leave the services at uh, what it already is so we are going to exit then we are going to bring this down a bit Okay, then we reduce. It's part of the services, okay? It's not, it doesn't have to take the whole, the whole area of the design. So that is that. So we reduce this a bit. And we also reduce this. And this is better. So the next thing we are going to do now is we are going to write out how they should be called or how to reach them like their contact details so we are going to make a duplicate of this over here and we are going to write whatsapp call whatsapp okay um, all right let's just whatsapp or call okay call us book a shot 
okay so we are going to delete this one to book a session to book a session to book a session with us or if you just leave it at book a session and you come over here then you write the phone number so i'm just going to impute uh, a random phone number here so let's just say plus two three four eight one two three four five six seven eight i think uh okay that should do it so now because now as you see this text over here you can see that it's at the left it's at the right side so to give it a bit of alignment so we're just going to go to our alignment area and align to the right so we are going to give it a bit of the the lady we're going to increase it a bit and we're going to leave it like that so now now that that is done the next thing we need to do now is to create a box okay we're going to create we are not just going to take these images and just stamp them over here okay we're going to create a brief box that we'll be using to put in these images so we are just going to create a rectangle box something like this this is okay you can I, I am not working with any particular specification so you can work here so the next thing we're going to do is closely let me uh, let me outline this thing white so that we can see what I'm currently doing the next we're going to do is we're going to go to our shape tool then I want to curve only this edge so I'm just going to select this edge while holding the shift key then I mark it this way so now that that is done I'm going to take this then I'll flip it the other way while holding my control key then I press my right and I click on my right mouse key then I take it to the then I adjust it to the right like twice one two three four five okay, let's leave it at five then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this image okay but before I take this image I would like us to make a duplicate of these four images now we'll make a duplicate after selecting them now I'm going to edit them I'm going to give it a bit of brightness so I'm going to go to my effects I go to adjustment the image adjustment lab I already have the settings here so you're just going to apply to the image so yes and I'll take this other one don't worry the screenshot for that particular edit photo editing uh, image is also made available in the um, materials so as you can see you see how the editing is helping our image to is breathing life into our image so adjust me as you can see effects adjust then image adjustment lab okay now let's do the last one adjust you go to effects you go to adjust then you go to image adjustment lab then you just allow my presets that i've already done to just apply and that is it so now we've gotten we've edited our image so if you put this image side by side definitely you can see the difference okay you can see the difference so the next thing we're going to do now is we're going to put these first two images you're going to put them in these two box then duplicate to put in these other two images so we're going to put in this one first so we take this and then power clip it into this so we enter the power clip then we try to adjust to however we want it okay i think this is cool okay Let's leave it at this so we do the same to this other one we take it in here we power clip then we go over here then we adjust the size then we adjust the size to how we want okay so now we're just going to select both and then make another duplicate somewhere here we make a duplicate then we take this other one and we power clip it into this then we go into the power clip we delete the other picture then we adjust this one let's just adjust it manually this way we adjust it like this okay then we come out then there's something i want to do here in this particular one for this our design we are going to be doing today i want to use this as i want to use this image
to get our color palette we use. So let me first of all create our color palette. So to create your, to easily create your color palette, all you just need to do is drag the image to where these your recently used colors are. Then you leave it there. Then your color palette shows the you to select at least ten colors from this image. Then click on OK. Then you wait a few seconds. Then your colors has appeared here. Now we can power clip this into this place. Then we go over. We delete this one. Then we adjust. just okay now that is done here is it now we are going to select all of them and remove the outline we've created now we can then select them all group them and bring them to our design so now they are in our design so the next thing we are going to do is we are going to reduce them okay one thing about design is to give it what make sure your design is able to breathe okay be able to give your design the ability to what to print so now we've created this our design okay so the next thing we are going to do is you're going to bring in this particular what this particular image and you're going to put it somewhere here yes somewhere here i think this is okay yes then let's take this up a bit you're also going to edit this particular hand so you select it you go to effects adjust image adjustment lab the effect applies giving it at least the guy looks like he's lacking blood so let's give him some blood so you can see that the image is now brighter and it blends well with this without this background so now we've created our image we're going to select specific aspect of our design and give it we're going to choose just one color from here and give it because we want to just work with two colors which is black white which is going to definitely be the background but we're still going to work on the background later so we want to just i want to focus our design on black and one of the colors we're going to take here so for the shot we're going to select the shot because that is like an emphasis okay emphasis is very important in design so we are going to give it the color okay now we're going to also select services because all these parts are what, are what we call emphasis so you have to make emphasis to certain aspect of your design okay so then we're also going to come over here I'm going to select WhatsApp or call as another word emphasis. So we click on OK. So now let's make sure this WhatsApp or call aligns properly with our image. So we are going to exit our power clip. We're going to drag in our ruler. We're going to place it here. Make sure it is well placed. Okay, we are going to our power clip. Then we adjust our image to make sure. It is aligned to the ruler. Now everything is properly aligned. Same thing with this area. So the next thing we are going to do is we are going to bring in our logo. So we are going to also do the same thing. Create a ruler and place it. Then we enter our power clip. Then we bring in our what? We bring in our logo and place it somewhere here. We are going to give it the color black. Okay. We're going to give it the color black. We're going to place it there in floors. So, yeah, that is okay. So, now let's give this design some aesthetics. So, now we are going to create a background. So, we're going to quickly draw our box. Then, we are going to align it to the middle to remove the outline. So we're going to just take this, let's make a duplicate. So we're going to just take this, we're not editing it anyway. We're just going to take in this background. Then we power clip it into our box. So we enter this power clip now. Then we adjust this properly. Then after adjusting, we, we, we are going to not, we are not just going to leave it this way, okay? Because if you leave it this way, you can see it's contradicting, okay? The, the, the stuff is above our design so we just have to take it to the back using shift page down so you just use shift page down to take this design to the back so after you've selected your design you use shift page down so you can see that it was it's going to work you can see this background is very excellent but the problem we are having is because we are just leaving the background so you can see that there are a lot of contradictions so we're going to go back into our power clip then we are just going to do what? 
we're going to make it transparent. We're going to transparent it. We're going to give it 50 at least. 50% transparency. Now we come over. Now you can see that the whole thing has blended properly. You can see how it blended properly. Okay, let's see 40. But one thing you should know is you can't leave it like that. Okay. Okay, now so our background is set. Our background is set. So yeah. So let's leave it at 50 transparency. Let's, let's leave it at 50 transparency. So you see how you can easily create a simple flyer design for a photo studio. All you just need to do is Think like a photographer and you can even design the good um, stuff for them also. So you can see that one thing about photographers is unless probably they've already given you an edited image, then you can use the edited image the way they've given it to you. But if they didn't, you could, as a designer, add a little bit of what flared to it. So now, we've done this. The next we're going to do is, as usual, I love adding what? Texture. So let's make a duplicate of this background. Okay. Now, normally, one thing to note is you can't add texture the way it is because let's go. You see that if you go to noise, you see that it's not activated. Why? Because this background or this particular element in your design, this square, is kind of edited because there's already an image within it. So, in order for you to not add your texture, all you need to do is go to your bitmap, you convert it to bitmap first. Okay? All you just need to do is go to bitmap, convert to bitmap. Now it has been converted to bitmap, you go over to your effects, you go to noise, now you can add noise. So we just add, okay, no, uh, 90 is too much, I love working with 70. Okay. Now we've added a bit of texture. And voila, that is it for today's tutorial video. You've been able to see how you can simply, easily create a straightforward design. Give your, you know, at least you're giving your design space to breathe, you know. Give your design some space to breathe. There are allowances, there are spaces, there are white spaces for your design to be able to breathe. And still at the same time, you're able to convey the information you need to convey to your particular what target audience. So this is a very simple way of creating a what a flyer design for a photo studio or for a photographer or whatever. So if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit the like button so that more people can view this video. And if you're not subscribed to our channel, please do that and this encourage you that. So uh, I'll be leaving you guys here in this tutorial video. Make sure to come back in two days time for a very, very wonderful tutorial session that I'll be giving to you guys on how to create UI designs on Corelto. And you could even learn more, including how to what, how to create mockups, okay, using Corelto, using the Corelto software. So that was it for today's tutorial. If you enjoyed this video, like I said earlier, hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you have questions, please comment in the, please place it in the comment box below. And I'll be leaving you guys here today. If you want to improve on your logo design skills, click any of, if you want to improve your logo design or your graphic design skills, please click on the video, click on any of the video you're seeing on your screen. Until next time guys, stay safe and stay healthy.